This is how I stop myself from starting to feel bummed out. It happened just the other day, like yesterday or the day before. I go out for daily walks with my dog and I was in the middle of the walk and started feeling, just started feeling bummed out. Like just the pressure in the chest, the lump in the throat, just, just, just the beginning part. You know that part where you start, you're not in it, you're not deep in it, but you're starting to feel, oh, I'm starting to feel a little bummed out. I was like, wait, wait, wait. How can I possibly feel bummed out? doing one of the coolest part of my, I mean, my whole day is pretty cool with everything that, that um, I'm involved in, but that's when I like the highlights, highlights, because I get to kick it with my dog at the park, go for a walk, trees, grass, outdoors, no issues, no nothing. This is just like me and her time, her and me time. And it's wonderful. We, the whole pack goes, you know, and it's just, how can I possibly feel bummed out in such the coolest part of my day? And I realized like, okay, what am I doing? I always like dissecting these moments, you know, like why, why is it happening? So I can make sure I fix it and it doesn't happen. And I realized that what I was doing is that I was going into my past and started thinking about a moment or a time in my life. In this case, it was just like a time in my life where things weren't going my way. The result that I wanted wasn't happening. By now I should have had this. This should have been happening at this time. It didn't, it didn't go my way. Uh, uh, I did everything I could, but still things didn't work out. That kind of a story that I was reliving. Now this is all, this was a makeup story. This wasn't about the future. This wasn't, uh, this was something about the past past. And I started revisiting that time, which is why I started to feel bad. That feel bad after I thought about it for a minute, is me being a victim, self-victimizing, back to my old school roots, the victim mindset. I was all about that. Victim mindset, uh, blaming everything and everybody and circumstances and everything, no discipline. And my old roots were trying to kind of come back. Why? I don't know. I didn't know nothing to remind me about anything i wasn't i'm telling you i was exercising i was doing one of the most coolest parts of my day it's not like i was engaging in any low vibing activity or anything that i you know should be doing over sleeping over resting over eating nothing like that i was out there doing one of the coolest things that i do every day which is go out for a walk with my dogs i got it was trying to creep in old habits now remember i did these i did these habits for decades the self-victimizing, I was like a pro. It gave me a reason to not blame myself, blame everybody else, fuck it, why blame me? And this was coming back, this, goes, this showed me that these old habits, they'll stick around. Even after like, okay, it's been a couple years, been a year, a couple years of me just really like getting in there and fixing myself, being on purpose, working on becoming the version of me that I would admire but still they'll creep in. So heads up, be careful with that. Don't let these old habits creep up on you and consume you. Catch them right away and say, no, we're not gonna go that way. Why are we feeling that way? Then I kind of like stop myself. It's like, okay, let's fix this. What's going on here? Why am I thinking about that moment that happened decades ago? Like, okay, let's not worry about why. Instead of, instead of thinking that happened to, I can't believe that happened to me. There you go. The, the to me part that shit didn't happen to me that happened for me i had to remind myself hey that happened for you it made you did it kill you no i'm still here cool it made me remember we already went through that what did you learn from that it's like what well, should i learn this this i started going through all the stuff it's easy for me now to remember what i learned from all my challenging times it's like oh i learned this this and this I gained this, this, and this. I made this progress, and I'm able to teach this, this, and that. That's right, it happened for me, it didn't happen to me. As I'm saying this out loud, because my dog loves hearing this, and nobody else was around, the trees, the grass. So I, you know, that's the, I'm that guy that you see talking to himself in the middle of the, of the park, in the field, but I'm so far away, no one could see me anyways. As soon as I said it, that tightness of the chest, that lump in the throat disappeared, went away. 
realized that there's that slouch again, started standing up a little taller. It was old victim mindset habits that creep in. Be careful with those. If you're working on that, if you're feeling that, if you catch yourself sometimes uh, thinking about old stuff and self-victimizing, just remember that it, you went through that already. You passed it. It didn't kill you, so it happened for you, not to you. It happened for you. If you're already past that, if this isn't the, if, if, if you've been following me for a while and you're on that, on that, on that quest, on that mission to be, to live on purpose, and you know you've already fixed it and you understand the concept of life happening for you, not to you, there's something to learn here, be thankful about something in the situation, you put all those past events behind you and you're already working on now and becoming the best version of you, be aware and be careful that these old habits can creep up. And once you start feeling that feeling, don't let it consume you. Stop it right away on its tracks and say, no, 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 we're not feeling that way. Remember, life happens not to us. We're feeling that way because we're starting to say it the old school way to us. That didn't happen to me. That happened for me. This is what I learned. I'm thankful that I learned this. And now I'm here and now I'm now. Let's go.